Hey, it's Night Tiger, and today I'm gonna show you how you can make beats like Blade, Rip Squad, and Ivy League. These types of beats are probably my favorite right now. I really wanna show you some tricks and tips and sauce and how to get that really cool sound. So, here's a quick preview of the beat, and let's get started, shall we? So first we actually need a cool melody sound. Your best bet for the sounds would probably be something like Serum, Spire, and maybe Omnisphere. I made a drum kit specifically with this style in mind, so I'm just gonna search for some sounds there. That's definitely a cool sound. I'm just gonna try and make a melody. How do I go about this? I usually wanna start with a nice chord progression, so I can just load up any of these and see if they work. I like this. I think maybe this one could be like right there. Yeah, alright, I dig it. Let's move it. I think I want to go up in BPM to so like 156 maybe. So since we're making Blade Rip Squad type beats, we really want to get that major intonality, that like major melody. Because the chords are pretty dark, right? They're like certainly in the minor key. So we want to get some major melodies in there, kind of balance it out. So in case of F minor, which we're in right now, I'm gonna lay down a melody in G sharp major. So naturally I'm gonna start with the G sharp and see where it goes. I like this, whoa! Now I'm gonna try and find a cool lead, I think. But you know what, I'm actually gonna stack a nice pad. Just trying to pick a random one and see if that works. Actually, I just had an idea for the melody. It could go like... Yeah, yeah, and then repeat. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna copy this and paste it onto the pad and see if that works. It's not quite the sound I'm going for. DG. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this top melody. I don't think it fits as well. But I'm actually gonna get some notes in like E sharp, G. Let's try a lead. I kind of like where that lead is going, but also I think the chords could be a little bit longer like this. I definitely need to change the lead sound. Let's try a different lead. It's really ambient. I like this. Right, cool. I really like this melody I set down on the keys, so I think I'm gonna try to expand that with a nice lead. So I have my four favorite presets right there, like just hanging around, so I'm actually gonna use one of them. I'm actually gonna copy this top melody I have here, as well as this one. Might not sound too great now, but I'm actually gonna add some delay and maybe portal and see how that goes. I'm gonna try and add one more sound to em emphasize that chord progression and just overall fill. Right. Now I'm gonna drag my left mouse button to select all of these and hit Control L. So each of these sounds gets routed to its individual mixer track and it actually gives it a nice color. And I can select them all with Control like this and right click and select route to this track only. 
Now that's going to create a bus channel for this for these melodies. I'm going to apply some EQ and I'm going to cut out all the low end. And the reason for that is you don't want your melodies to collide with the bass you're going to add later. Speaking of the bass, I think I'm going to go for a nice sort of ambient bass here. It's a very classic re sound. So I'm going to select this chord progression here and also use the control and shift to select these F notes here and I'm going to copy it to the bass. I'm going to add some delay from my mix presets. And I'm going to get in my favorite reverb right there to drain it a little bit. There we go. I think this lead turned into a very nice addition to the sounds without being like super overwhelming. I do feel like it's a little bit empty, so I'm actually going to experiment with one more pad sound. Actually, hell, I'm going to try and adding like one more lead. Is this good? No, it's not. You know what I just did? I just I just made the most generic lead pattern you can ever imagine. And you know what? That's fine. I'm having fun. It sounds great. I don't care. I'm actually gonna add some crystallizer to it. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna get my favorite reverb here. And also some delay and some panman actually, yeah. Panman is pretty great. Alright, now I'm gonna select the first and the last pattern and drag them onto the playlist and hit Ctrl B a few times. And now we have like a very basic arrangement, right? We just have something in the playlist to go off of. I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna try and add some drums right now. I'm gonna get some of my favorite drums which are in this kit. So I'm just gonna keep the melody playing and see which drums just kinda seem to work well. Hold the left mouse button to select all of them and control L again. Sidechain my kick to the 808s and sidechain my kick to uh to the melody. <laughs> then add the limiter, go to compression, and select the kick. Lower lower down the threshold to somewhere here. Make the ratio like 2.0, I guess, something like that. And then sustain to zero and release to half of that. This is usually the settings I go for. They work the best for me. Then the same on the bass, but Instead, I'm actually going to lower down the threshold and make the ratio a little bit higher. And now for the master, I'm going to use my master preset. I'm gonna use some pretty flangus on the snare, and I also like to use some Luke's verb on the on the rim. Then I'm going to try to create an arrangement and that's sometimes difficult for me, especially when I have so many melodies, but I just try to remove some of them on the beginning and see what happens, right? Let's remove these ones. Actually, yeah, let's make it ambient like this. Then I'm going to subtly introduce all of them, like so. Oh yeah, that comes in so nice, oh wow. 
I don't feel like going really crazy with the transitions. I think some more subtle ones would work uh, better. Let's try the crash riser. I think it's I think it's gonna work well, especially on the beat drop right there. DP riser, actually, maybe with a lot of Luke's verb. Yes, I like this. But also, I need some crashes right there. It's every eight bars. Like so. I actually didn't add any open hats, but I think that works pretty well. So that's gonna be it. Let's go. And my FL Studio crash. <laughs> Can I get like at least half of the beat back, please? No, where's my, where are my transitions? No. <laughs> no, but on the rail though, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to get all of the sounds I used in this video and a lot more, and if you want to support my channel, which would be absolutely amazing you can go into the link in the description and see if that kit is for you i just dropped this kit for the one year anniversary of my channel and by the way when i was opening this channel i, I didn't know what to expect but i knew i knew i had the aspirations i knew i wanted it to be something big and one year in i guess i'm on a good way so if you're curious as to where my determination is gonna take me then subscribe and just join the journey you know let's just let's just have some fun let's learn how to make beats together thank you so much for watching and See you in the next year of Night Tiger.